to find board games online. Hello and welcome to The Grizzled in about three minutes. This video is dedicated to all the victims of World War One and to Tignus, the games artist who was murdered by terrorists. It is a game for two to five players. There is no solo mode, although there is one in the expansion. It has a playing time of around 30 to 40 minutes. It's a pretty simple game. The Guns of August signal the beginning of what would become one of the darkest chapters in human history, the First World War. You play a group of young Frenchmen, drafted into this war, and sent to the front. Only cooperation and camaraderie will allow you to all make it through the war in one piece. You win this game if the trials deck runs out and peace is declared. You lose this game if one of your soldiers has four or more hard knocks cards at the end of the turn. You can also lose if the monument deck runs out. Cooperative. Only together can this group of friends survive the war. Card management. You must manage the cards you are dealt in the best way possible. Player turn. On your turn, you will receive a number of cards as chosen by the mission leader. The first turn is always three. These cards can be hard knocks with a lightning bolt at the top or threat cards. There are six types of threat. Night, rain, and snow are the three terrain types, and shell, mask, and whistle are the three item types. Some cards have more than two threats on them. On your turn, you can play a threat card into No Man's Land. If there are ever three matching threats of any type in No Man's Land, your mission has failed, and that's bad news. You can also use your good luck charm. Gustav's is snow, so he can remove one snow card from No Man's Land, flipping his card over. Threat cards with this symbol are trap cards, and they require an extra card be played from the deck, which can lead to a cascade. You can play a hard knocks card, which represents trauma, and it can be assigned to any player. You can use your speech token and nominate one threat type. All players can then discard one card with a matching threat icon. Finally, you can choose to withdraw and claim a support token. The round ends when all players have withdrawn or the mission has failed. Support tokens are used to help other players. In this case, Gustav has three hard knocks and everyone has chosen to support Gustav, which allows him to flip over to regain his luck charm or to remove two hard knocks. If you did not fail the mission, add three cards to the trials deck from the monument deck. If you did fail, add those three cards and all cards in no man's land. The next player is now the mission leader and gains a speech token. Why would you like this game? War isn't pretty, and the bulk of games about war treat the subject with a degree of emotional separation. Troops are pieces on the board to be maneuvered in a way to achieve a mission outcome. The Grizzled is not that. It's a game about camaraderie, of friends keeping each other going while they push through exhaustion and terror. And the gameplay is really simple and easy to learn, yet it pulls you into the moment. The artwork of Tignus is unique and iconic, and really gives the game its unique character. And this picture on the back of the rule book of the soldiers before the war really hits home for me. The best thing about this game is that the war is not depicted as something that can be won, only something that can be survived. However, this game is pretty unforgiving, and you can sometimes feel that you've lost well before the outcome is finally assured. The game has a failure spiral that can be hard to pull out of. And for some people, this game will be a bit raw in its subject matter. If you want something light and silly, pick another game. For another game that deals with the realities of war, check out This War of Mine. And if you want to try a strategic game about World War One, check out Paths of Glory. The Grizzled. No winners, just survivors. This video was requested by Patreon backer Andrew Miller. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and check out our Patreon.